Are we considering cutting ties with Kuwait, sir, at this point? Sir, um, any statement from the President regarding po dun sa latest po na incidente ng pagpas lang po sa UFW po natin sa Kuwait? Uh, and dole po ay nagpatupad na po ng partial deployment ban? Well, as we said earlier, the President is outraged by that. It is a, a violation of the agreement between these two countries. And the incident is under investigation. The Secretary of Labor, as you said, has already executed a partial deployment. Let's see if it becomes full deployment of the ban. Any uh, any statement po from the government for the uh, Kuwaiti government dahil po sa nangyari po? That's the, the statement made by Secretary Bello and myself are the statements of this government. Do we see total deployment ban in the future? And ano po ang magiging uh, <clears throat> ano po ang magiging pinakadahilan para magpatupad ng total na deployment That depends. Plan. That depends. It, uh, another case of, another case of, another case of uh, abuse against... That will depend on the endorsement or recommendation of Secretary Bellew. Salamat, Rose. Uh, tungkol muna doon sa, ano, sa... Cedric, yung topic, ibang topic. Arian. Happy New Year, Sec. Happy New Year. Sec, yung recent that po ng OFW, how does that affect our country's ties with Kuwait? Well, hindi ba, meron lang ang partial, ano, Yes, sir, but on a government-to-government -government level, how would that affect? Well, hindi naapektuhan na nga. <laughs> ano bang tawag mo doon? Are we considering cutting ties with Kuwait, sir, at oh, this point? Baka naman masyado ng seryoso yun. Tingnan natin how it develops. Pero sir, is that, uh, are we considering that at this point, pinag-aaralan po ba or hindi pa po? So, as I said earlier, depende yun sa recommendation ni Secretary Bello. Okay sir, thank you. 26-year-old Janeline Villavenda left the country in July 2019 to give her family in South Cotabato a better life. That is now a broken dream after she was killed in Kuwait. Kasi sir, yung pangarap ni Janeline, sabi niya, magpatayo daw sa ng bahay. Tapos yung lupa namin, gusto niya mapatapos sa kuliyo ang kanyang pag, ano sir, pag, pag iiskwila sir. While waiting for Villa Vendez remains, her family appeals to President Rodrigo Duterte for justice. Presidente, sana tulungan niyo po kami sir, yung pagkamatay ni Jinilin sir. Sana mapatay mo yung nagpatay sa kanya sir. After Villavendez's death, the Labor Department is poised to issue a partial deployment ban to Kuwait. We are, uh, sabi ko nga, that we are considering a total uh, deployment ban sa Kuwait. Uh, we are considering that. But in the meantime, uh, mag-decide kami kung total uh, uh, deployment ban ba. Magkakaroon po ako, I will issue a directive today na magkakaroon ng partial deployment ban. Uh, which means na hindi po kami mamuna na magpapadala ng magdi-deploy ng bago. Government officials hope that this will be a wake-up call for Kuwait to protect more than 200,000 Filipinos workers in the Gulf state. An investigation is underway and Villa Vendez employers are now under Kuwaiti custody. Meron akong partial report from our uh, labor attache na yung ating kababayan na si Jernalin talaga pupuk sa rado. Black and blue daw. Yun ang report ng mga nurses na nag-attend sa kanya. The government is also working on the repatriation of Villa Vendez remains. Yung pagpapauwi po ay nakadepende dun sa takbo ng investigasyon. Sa ngayon, nakakulong yung mag-asawa na employer niya. At uh, magkatapos ng investigasyon, dun pa lamang siguro makakauwi si Jenna Lim. The Overseas Workers' Welfare Administration also assures Villa Vendez's family of assistance, including a scholarship for her sibling, something that Villa Vendez longed for. Covered siya ng death and disability benefits, as well as yung uh, livelihood at scholarship ng kapatid na nasa grade 6 until makagraduate ng college.